What is up everyone? This is Double O Face coming at you with some gameplay from Modern Warfare 3. This is one of those ones, I think it went 32 and 15. And it's not the best gameplay, I just like it because it's kind of long. It's using one of my favorite guns, the PP something or other, which I almost got the gold camo for. <laughs> um, and a lot of it has to do with that, uh, this is kind of a camp heavy game for the other team and I just kept rushing in and dying. Uh, you know, PTFO. I'm not going to wait around for them. I did kind of camp a few times just to kind of get into it. Um, but I think, I feel like I single handedly won this for my team. Uh, a lot of comeback games that I have. And this one goes up right to the wire. You see that we're like behind, then we're tied, and then something happens at the end. You guys will see. Just wait and see. <laughs> just stick around till the end. But basically, I wanted to come back to you guys and reiterate some of the stuff that I talked about in one of my last videos, which is the working out and being healthy part 7. This is going to be working out and being healthy part 7 r -r 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 remixed because I feel like I didn't kind of present the things the way that I should have for you guys and I didn't really give you enough information to really go oh yeah I could use that a lot of it was just kind of rambling things that I kind of was just saying the protein thing was important but this is what I really want to talk about with you guys in the words of George R. R. Martin winter is coming brace yourselves winter is coming which means holiday seasons you got Thanksgiving and Christmas and you got overeating there's just no two ways around it but first I'm gonna give you guys a quick workout tip you know this is a simple thing push-ups. Push-ups are just like any other type of working out, whether it's bench pressing or leg lifts or any of those heavy weights that you start out light and you work your way up. One way, oh double. One of the ways that you can do that is you start on the wall. Start doing push-ups against the wall and increase that incline until you're finally on the floor. And then from there you can, you know, work on having your feet on elevated areas. Don't be ashamed if you can't do push-ups. Not everyone can, you know. I'm a big dude. I weigh a substantial amount, but I got long skinny arms. It's hard to build muscle, you know, it just doesn't work out. I couldn't really do push-ups a lot. I can now because I worked out and I did, you know, I did that. I practiced with it. And the big thing is to never get ashamed or discouraged because you can't do a workout. Just start slow, pick it up, and muscle builds. Muscle will build progressively. Even if you do the same light weights every single day, your muscle will build more than if you just don't. So, that's a quick little tip. Don't be ashamed to do things if you can't do them right off the bat. Do what you can do and work your way up to it. Boom. That's a workout tip. Now, let's get on to the holiday season. Because I know Thanksgiving is coming up. And I know Christmas is coming up. And that leads to overeating. But not just because there's lots of food. But because there's lots of stress. So much stress, guys. I, you can't even imagine how stressful it is for some people during the holiday seasons. I mean, first off, you got the holiday season, which can be a little bit lonely if you're not spending it with your family, or if your family isn't on the best of terms, you know, having problems here, here, here. You know, I get it. Or having financial problems, you can't buy a person the gift that you really want to give them. You know, you can't buy your girlfriend that diamond earring that she wants so much, or earrings. I mean, you could get her one, but she'd be a little, she's a little G. I don't know. You know, maybe guess the gangster girlfriend. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not here to judge. <laughs> but anyway, it leads to a lot of stress. And I was reading this really interesting article, which makes a lot of sense, guys. To that, and and women. I don't wanna, I don't wanna discourage because this can be, um, you know, one to you guys. And I'll and I'll tell you what kind of what kind of overeater I can be. Now, there's a couple different kinds. You got the grazer. Now, I fit into that category, as I'm sure a lot of people do, especially if you're playing video games, because you just grab something, you go. Nom, nom, nom. Stuff's good, you know. Get some trail mix. Well, maybe not trail mix. That's, that's a little bit on the healthier side. You know, maybe trail mix with lots of chocolate, some Chex mix, some chips. You know, you just spend all day eating different meals. Now, you can't eat lots of small meals to help with your metabolism. But if you don't want to do that, you have you know set meals and you stick with those and you be healthy. And if you are gonna snack and graze, you know, get carrots and veggies, man. Those crunchy vegetables and fruits, man. It's the way to go for snacks and whatnot. So that's what I like to do. The next one is the nervous eater. Now you got a lot of nervous eaters out there, and I know this fits into a lot of category for women, um, and just as much as men, but I see it a lot more in women, is that when they get really stressed out in a situation, you know, they're fighting with their spouse or significant other or something like that, they get stressed and they eat food. Now, nervous eaters and the next category, which are comfort food eaters, kind of fit hand to hand because being nervous, you want to eat food to be comfortable, you know, have that comfort. But a lot of comfort food comes from just being generally stressed out about this or that. And, and you know, let's face it, food is delicious. It's it, You can control it. You know, I want this because I want it, and that's what I want. And you soothe that craving, man. If you are craving something, like if you crave a burrito and you go and have one, oh, that's so good. You know, but it's an unhealthy burrito. 
you know you pay the price you pay the price down the line <laughs> so that's the that's the comfort food one and uh, the next one is oh it's one that I hadn't really heard of before it's called the secret eater now now that I think about it I think oh yeah I could I could see this being you know out there you know I'm not gonna judge you guys or trying to make assumptions of anyone out there but I feel like a lot of people who struggle with their weight can be secretive eaters or secret eaters and basically what they do is in public they have the persona of being a healthy eater and you know, they eat vegetables and they eat really good for them but as soon as they get home you know they want to eat something bad for them they want to have some greasy foods they want to have some meats they want to have some and this and that and some candy and whatnot and that's fine, but what ends up happening is that you're so guilty about eating this stuff when you want to you want to be healthy. You want to be healthy so bad, but the stress from hiding it and the feeling that like you have to hide it actually leads to guilt, which leads to overeating even more. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's that's the that's the next one and the last one, but not the least cuz oh my god, this one fits me so perfectly. It's called the evening eater. Now, what they said about the evening eater that I totally agree with is that it's someone who eats healthy generally, you know, portions everything perfectly the way that they want. They're eating really good, and, you know, oh yeah, I'm healthy, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, but as soon as they go to parties, you know, evening events with friends, they're going, you know, uh, getting drinks or going out to eat or something, then that, all the stuff goes out the window. And I'm definitely like that. I'd be like, Oh, I just had a nice dinner, you know. I made myself some, you know, pasta or something. I go over to my friend's house and oh, get out of here, TV. Yeah, TV's unhealthy. No, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm like, get out of here, healthy food. I I'm done with you now, you know. Even though I just ate, I'm gonna have a whole bag of potato chips, cause oh, you know, you're hanging out with your friends, you're hanging out with your buddies, you're drinking, you're doing whatever, you're playing video games, you know, you just start drinking, and that's something you gotta work. Oh, I start eating. Whoa, you guys don't wanna be start drinking. It's bad for you. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you start eating, and then uh, you know that that willpower that you have to start off kind of just like goes out the window, and you're kind of like, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, so that's the last kind of eater, and another kind of eater that fits onto the eating evener, blah, 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 evening eater that I could fit into is that at night, man, I'm a night owl. I, I want to go do things. I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna make a video. I'm doing this video right now at 2:07 in the morning because I can, yo. What you gonna do? Uh, right here, I was kind of seeing like I was wondering if my brightness, if I just turned it up a little bit, even though it's the more than the recommended. I actually think that it looks better. A lot of people use the color assist, which I thought, man, maybe I'll work on to. I'll look into if that makes any difference or if it's cheap. I don't know. But back to what I was saying. Something that I do is that you know at at night I'm like oh let's go do things so I like I like go cook something <laughs> and um, you know basically the thing is that uh, the later that you eat depending on when you go to bed um, it's actually worse for you you know eating something and then going to bed right away can be really bad well a lot of times you want to eat and then have a couple of hours and then go to bed and there's like you don't want to eat after like six seven o'clock I'm not sure exactly how it is because that's one of those healthy things that I never follow I never have and I don't think I ever will uh, my girlfriend gets on to me all the time like oh you shouldn't be eating so late and I'm all like yeah I know but then when she's not looking I'm like eating a burrito <laughs> but you know that's just something that you gotta look out and then like you guys might be thinking okay so you just told me all this stuff about how I could be overeating what does that have to do with this you're not really giving me any advice well Basically, the way I see it is if you guys can identify what kind of stressed overeater you are, that really can make a difference on what in your eating habits, you know? It's it's all it's also the same about, you know, emotions and psychology and things is that if you don't want to, you know, have these depressive th thoughts or these self-esteem issues, a lot of it is like things that you do to yourself. You think them, they happen to you. And if you can identify what you do to create these certain situations, it helps 100% you know, to get there. If you don't realize you're having a problem with something, you will never be able to change that. So that's what I'm saying. If you guys fit into one of these categories, which you may not, you, may not, you might be like, this is completely pointless. And if that's the case, let me know. Send me something. Let me know what's up, and I'll I'll try to give you the advice. Cause you know I feel like this is sound advice for you guys right now. You know, that's something I really think would be helpful for anyone who has troubles with overeating during the holidays. This brings me to the next little thing is that working out is great. It's the bomb diggity. It's what you should be doing. Oh, this time's over, almost up. 
we're getting close we're down look how much we're down and you know it's going back and forth you know keep an eye on that score and kind of like look at me oh picking up doubles and whatnot and uh, get that triple <laughs> anyway working out is awesome but when it really comes down to it over working out what you put in your body is much more important for your health and your weight and everything you need to focus on what's going into your body before you start working on working out because that the working out aspect is very difficult look at one point look at, I'm carrying my team <laughs> but yeah so I'm sorry I'm just going all over the place right now but it's just is really important eating healthy and having good things in your body is good for you it's the best thing you can do eating things that are bad for you are more detrimental to your health as well as your mental health more than anything else if you ever have problems with weight or anything like that eating bad takes a toll on your psyche and stuff like that I know this is really important guys you know take a step back look at what you're doing look at what you're eating and if you can identify these things about yourself it will lead a lot to you being healthier overall you know with life I really hope you guys thought this was helpful. I feel like I was presenting this information like the boss. You know, I did this in one take. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back in my commentating state. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, Double O Face signing out, saying good night and good fight. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Peace out. Oh, yeah, and send me your questions and anything you have on working out. If you have any great ideas, let me know, and I'll put them in my next video. All right, peace out, guys.